Okay, here we go. Down to the basement. Oh my god, look at all those red dots. Alright guys, we survived the night. And uh, we're picking up, by the way, uh, right uh, from the last episode, in case you didn't see it. And um, nothing happened overnight. I spent a lot of time just hunkered down over at the top of the stairs there. And I, I um, was semi-AFK, so I had tapped down the windows doing some other stuff. And then I, heard, I started hearing some blocks collapse. So I popped back in really quick. But whatever collapsed didn't obviously bring down... Uh, oh, looks like that's what actually collapsed right there, was just the stair stairs there. Uh, okay, so other than that, yeah, it was very uneventful horde night. Um, there goes a tree. Uh, but the first thing we have to do, of course, is kill off the what remains of the horde, because if we don't, our frame rate's going to be terrible. Uh, so let's get that going first. Um, I'm sure this collapse here was just from structural integrity, because there aren't any hordies actually up on this floor. So let's see if we can figure out a way to do this reasonably, in reasonable safety. Um, if we can get him to come down in here, then we can just blow him up. I'm not sure if they're on this floor or not, so let's just see if they show up. Yeah, see, we're still on the second floor, so they probably are not here. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is... Let's just put those there for a second. That's going to buy us, like, less than a second if they are down here. Um, we need to eat, too, so let's... Let's throw back a shepherd's pie and some red tea. Okay, pretty sure. Let's just wait here for a second. If they do show up, we can jump back up here real quick. But most likely they would have already been here by now if they were on this floor. Let's wait another second. Or ten longer. Yeah, they're not up on this floor. Okay. But they are down there. Alright, so if we could figure out a way to get them grouped up, like maybe in this stairwell here. We could throw some grenades on their head. seem to want to come over here. I gotta be really careful because I'm still what are we what are we looking at here? We're looking at yeah 12 to 20 frames per second. Um so if we get too close to the edge we run the risk of falling off. Well they're all just kinda okay here. All right, well, that got him to come over here. Here we go. Yeah, I don't care if he blows up. He'll help. He'll help get rid of the rest of them. We do miss out on the XP, but that's all right. When we get our horde, our main horde base finished. The XP is going to be incredible. So I'm not too worried about missing out on a little bit of it right now. Okay, I'm starting to get some frames back here. Did that kill you? 
Well, off with your leg, at least. Jeez, I can't believe that didn't kill him. All right, here. That guy lost his leg. He's gonna lose his other leg. over this way a little more. I think we're we're getting thinned out pretty good by now. Go down, Edgar. Oh my goodness. Dead. All right, I think we can jump down and take care of the rest of them. You know, I should have should have taken the fork bites actually. Before we did this, but I didn't. We're fine. We've got some criticals we're going to have to deal with, but we got the stuff for it. The closer the zombies get to us when we're using 9mm weapons, the more effective they are because they, uh, they at some point when they're really close I'm not sure what the actual um, distance is uh, it, it, oh shit, it completely ignores the armor alright so that takes care of the horde uh, we just have the one bag there. Nice. So we're 40 out of 50 on the handy land. Okay, so let's go ahead and... There's a couple things we just plain don't need in our inventory right at the moment. Uh, that being one of them, the pipes we don't need. That's too much paper to throw away, so we're going to keep the paper. And I think I'm going to ditch the rotting flesh, too. I still have a fair amount of that back at the base. And we need to take a honey. Actually, let's take an antibiotic just to free up the spot. I've got plenty of antibiotics back at the base, so it doesn't matter. And we need to take a bandage, or... I don't have a, a normal bandage, do I? Okay, well, here, we'll just take one of these, then. Ah, oh, shit, we are... Oh, that's one minute, damn it. I was reading that as one hour. That was a waste. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Duh. Whatever. Uh, let's see if there's anything I can put in the bike to free up another slot or three. Nothing. Not a damn thing. Okay, we're going to chuck this. We're going to chuck this. We're going to chuck this. I'm even going to chuck that and that. And we will put this, that, that, this. How much is this worth? Well, it's, it's worth something. It's worth it more by putting it on armor when we sell it. That's why we're keeping it. And how about if we put the steel parts in there? Okay, cool. Let's 
What's that? Oh, yeah, it's leather. So, I think what we'll do is... Let's go, let's finish the top first. And then we'll go in the basement. Because I think we were, if, if we followed this the way that it's supposed to be followed, I, I think we would have got gone up to the roof before we got down to the basement. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make ourselves a little makeshift stairwell here for, you know, the rest of the, the time. Or is this the floor that we can climb up the ladder in the elevator? Yeah, it is. Okay. So jump up here. Jump up here. Uh, no. There's these stairs, right? Okay. Very good. All right, so now how do we get to the roof from here? Not that way. Not that way either. Hmm. I'm not sure how we get to the roof. Maybe we are supposed to go to the basement first. I just don't remember. But... Since we're up here, we're gonna we're just gonna do the roof anyway. Even if we have to cut our way up there, which I think we probably will. Holy Moses. Okay. Let's see if could sneaky sneak um I, I want to get away from those zombos and hit them from further away because the noise is going to affect things okay let's hit marlene first Then we'll get Edgar. I don't know if we can one-shot Irradiated Big Mama or not. So let's leave her for later and hit the Zombos that I'm pretty sure we can one-shot. Just to thin out the crowd here. All right, I'm going to go back to this corner here. Okay, that eliminates all but one. I think there's another buzzard way over there. Can we hit him from here? Yes, we can. Okay, so that eliminates all the Zeeks on the helipad. Oh, we still have a shit ton of red dots. Let's get up on the helipad next. Uh, yeah, there's a headshot right there. Had to look very closely to see if that's indeed what it was. Okay. Uh, we got a dog here. We have a soldier whose head we can't get to. 
He's not irradiated, but he could be feral. Let's just shoot him in the scrotum and see what happens. <laughs> oh, man, that makes me cringe. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Absolutely terrible. Okay. Uh, there's going to be a bunch inside those closets. That's a corpse. All right, well, let's hit Big Mama from here and see what happens. Yeah, I didn't think we were going to be able to kill her. Man, she's tough. But she hasn't woken anybody else up, though. So let's just let her come up here and we'll kill her way back here. She's dead. Okay. All right, so quite a few less red dots now than before. What I'm going to do here is that. It's just a bit out of range for the pistol. It's not out of range, but it does reduce its uh, effectiveness. This might be too loud, but we only have four red dots left, so if we wake up the rest of them up, we do. It's not a big deal. I can't see anybody in there. Nope. Oh! What happened to the red dots? That's weird. Okay, well, let's get this ready. You loaded, you loaded, you're loaded. Okay. Yeah, we'll take those. Um, that's really weird. There were still, I thought there were four more red dots, but they're all of a sudden gone. How does that figure? I hear them. So they're not gone. The dots, okay, the dots are back now. Hmm. So they're going to be... We killed that guy, right? Yeah. There they are. Let's try one of our mines. Never mind. Never mind. Duh. <laughs> See what I did there? Okay. One red dot left. Possibly a buzzard on top of the, on top of here, maybe. Or it is over here. Yeah, I'll bet you it's a buzzard on top of the this thing. Yep. Okay, the roof has been cleared. Is there any way to get up on top of that? There might be something up there. No, I don't think so. It doesn't have a ladder on it. So let's head back down this way. Oh, that's how, <laughs> that's how we could have gotten up there. I just needed to look a little harder. Oh, well, doesn't matter. 
And now it's time for the basement and the final stretch of this POI. Those are probably just zombies off the street. Must be. Oh, it's probably a horde that just came through. All right. Let's see what's in the loop. Egg. Oh, we get, still have our luckies on. Ooh, nice. That's some good loot there. Is it better than what we can have? It is not, but we can sure sell it for a nice chunk of change. I don't care about that. We'll take all the rest of that stuff. We might as well get our blocks back. Okay, here we go. Down to the basement. Oh my god, look at all those red dots. All that remains is the loot. So this is the door going out. Let's put our luckies on. I guess we still have our luckies on. We've already been through this conversation, haven't we? I don't have any eye candy, unfortunately, so we will loot without it. And let's see, soup stock. That does not have a recipe. Let's eat that. Uh, is that chicken or beef? That's beef. Okay, we don't want to eat any of that stuff. Um, let's, uh, let's have a sham chowder. And we'll throw back one. Actually, let's throw back this coffee to free up a slot. Okay, here we go. Let's loot. Sure, we'll learn that. Don't really need to, but we will. Do we have paper? Yes. All right. So we're going to grab this then. Do we have plastic? Yeah. Grab these two. There's the main loot room. We have two skill points. Okay, so we got bows. We have trigger group burst mod, and we have knife guy. Beautiful. Uh, does this give us paper? Yes, it does. Awesome. Okay. So we came around through here. That door is unlocked. That gets us into here. Here's the main loots. Okay. Uh, we're just consuming those now for the XP. It just opens that up. Check the 
Ammo pal. Okay, that's decent. Let's open the main loot. Excellent. We got our second purple SMG. It is a beautiful thing. Okay, lots of good stuff on this one, man. Let's read the armor, the handyland, the salvage, and we'll learn that too because we can. And we'll take all of the rest of this. And the purple is definitely better than the other green we have, but you never know for sure. You have to always check that. Modify. Take that all off of there. Sweet. Okay. So now we have top end purple SMGs, which is our main weapon for our current build. And I'm pretty happy with that loot. Uh, the loot that we got from Karen Higashi was pretty disappointing, uh, but this is good. Um, I also, I have, I have like, I think one SMG, no, two SMGs and two shotgun turrets now, including this. So we will put that stuff to use, you know, on Horde night uh, for our Horde base when the time comes. Okay, more bows. We can now make a silencer, which is a beautiful thing, and handguns. We are 63 out of 100 on handguns. Rifles. I will consume that. And another shotgun book gets us 32 out of 100 for shotguns. And I think that takes care of the main loot group. I'm not, I'm not going to harvest all those cardboard boxes. So we came through here. We have something going on here. Let's see what's in here. Weapons bag. Okay, another shotgun book. And here we just got a bathroom. Nope. Wait, do I have pipes? No, I think we got rid of those. We'll take those. Do we have cloth? Yes, we do. Okay, so let's harvest this and this. Corn. Um, actually, you know what? What the hell? We'll take it. We got the room now. How much coin do I have on me? I got lots of coin on me. Yeah, I want to buy that stuff because I can make it. I think I still have some of this. Let's buy... Let's just buy one of those, just in case I don't. And let's buy ourselves a yucca smoothie because I think we, I think we earned it. Cheers, everybody. Bottoms up. Okay. <laughs> and I guess we're done down here. All right. I will meet you guys back at the trader for the turn-in. See what we get. All right, Rectipoo, what you got for us? Steak great. Here you go. Don't spend it all in one place. That's all shit. Um, okay, can I make advanced muffled connectors? Advanced, yes, I can make those, so no point in taking that. Do you think you're pretty smart? Uh, we don't need time charges. 25 steel is not that big a deal. We already know this. So the only thing that makes sense is a crafting skill magazine bundle. Look at that, you guys. Wow. Okay. Um, we're done with tier five. <laughs> I wasn't wasn't even paying attention to that. What should we do here? Don't care about melee. Don't need ammo crafting bundle. I mean, what the hell? <laughs> For the uh, the end of tier five, an ammo crafting bundle, really? Uh, I think the gyrocar. Gyrocopter parts bundle makes the most sense. Uh, of course, 12,000 and 500 dukes would not suck either, but I think we're going to take this.
All right. Well, that's cool. All right, we could do, we could try a tier five infested since we finished all the tier fives. Well, no, we got a hundred still on the last airdrop. Where is he? I, I don't see the damn thing anywhere. Hmm. Oh, there it is. I see it. I see it. Okay. So we're pointing right at it. And it's probably going to... It looks like it's probably going to land somewhere in the other city. I'm going to guess probably somewhere around here. Which also means it could... It could land on top of a, the roof of something, too. Anyway, uh, I st even though we're done with Tier 5, I, I want to actually do all of the Tier 5 POIs. So let's let's just keep doing, you know, all the Tier 5s, and then we'll work on, you know, Infesteds. Okay, so this is a fetch and clear at the jail. We haven't done that. That'll be our next Tier 5. Next time. Before you come do it, all right. I want the Rock Busters. I want the Eye Candy. I want the Health Bar. Uh, I want all of this. There you go. Okay. Uh, all right, guys. So, uh, did we get some points? Let's take a look. We have two points. All right. So, we are working on intellect still, I think, right? Here, let's wear those. We wanted to get advanced engineering maxed out. All forge recipes cost 20% less. Crafting forge steel and electrical devices cost 35% less, which is great. So now we can make more steel with less materials. Um, and I will probably eventually employ electrical traps. Um, and we get 75% XP from the trap kill. So that's good too. All right, I think we're finished, guys, with intellect, for now at least. We got Grease Monkey maxed out. We got Advanced Engineering maxed out. We don't want to take Physician beyond three because the, the last two only apply to Stun Baton. Does this... Oh, I was in party mode. Yeah, see, that's all completely PvP. Or not PvP, but uh, multiplayer. So that doesn't do us any good. This we could potentially come back to later, but it's just not a high priority for me. So, yeah, we are now finished with intellect for the time being. So now what we're going to do is focus on fortitude. Getting fortitude up so that we can get machine gunner maxed, so that we can get pain tolerance, healing factor. And I'll probably will actually do, I put a point or three into, well, insulated too. Because I do, I, I do occasionally get orange cold here in the snow biome. I don't get red cold, but I get orange cold. And, um... So it would be useful to not have to worry about that at all, regardless of what we're wearing. And with that, let's do one more thing before I let you go. Let's just, I'm not going to spend a long time doing this, but let's just see if we could quickly find this drop. It might not be as far as I think it is. Can't really see it very well here though, so let's also do the red marker. We'll just kind of go in that direction and oh shit, see if we can um, find it, but I'm not going to spend a ton of time looking for it. I found it, you guys. <laughs> I was, uh, I had just done my outro, stopped the recorder, and I was just going down the street, and here it is. How far off was it from where I marked it? Uh, yeah, I, I, I way overestimated how far away that was, but I couldn't see it very well. Okay, well, let's open it up and see what we get. We get one of those. We get a steel armor bonus bundle. Okay, that's going to be good for selling. Uh, we got one of those. Oh, and you know what else I forgot to do is I forgot to do our magazines from our reward. Okay, so we have two Kniffies, two Forges, and two Handguns. And uh, 
Let's also open this one up too. Okay, two more forges. We, oh, we maxed it out. Look at that, guys. So we can now make our own crucible and even uh, increase steel production and, you know, it, yeah, well, steel production in particular even more, which is a beautiful thing. Okay, let's open that. Let's open that. And now we can make the air filter landmine. Beautiful. Uh, okay, so I think that, does that finish? No, that doesn't finish explosives. It just gets us to landmines. Uh, we have a long ways to go, actually, for explosives. So the rest of it's basically just going to be focused on rocket launching stuff, which, you know, we'll eventually stack up gunpowder. Okay, yeah, we'll eventually get to that. But I really wanted to get to the air filter landmines. Uh, so that was that was great. And then I could open the bundle and show you what we have. I don't know if we have enough room. Is there anything at all I can fit in here? Yeah, a little one one item. Okay, let's open this so we see what's in there. That's all blue steel armor. So we are gonna make a pretty penny on that for sure. Uh, uh oh, what is this? All right, we're gonna have to throw out a couple of inexpensive items because I don't want to lose that. Whatever this is. All right, they give us magazines. Okay. So we can now do tier three military. Okay. Polymer, rotting flesh. Uh, let's get that, that. Okay. We got it all. Beautiful. We're completely maxed out. And we're also encumbered by 15, but we st we can still actually move pretty well. I'm not going to open that up because I don't have a room for it, <laughs> for whatever might be in there. We're completely full up. All right. So yeah, I already did the outro. So I'm going to flip the video back to that to say goodbye to you guys. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go here. And uh, let's see, for the next episode, not exactly sure what we, we're, we'll do. I'm probably going to just keep pounding away um, at the horde base because I would really like to do the next horde in the base and not keep doing these, you know, hunker down in the building thingies. Um, so... It's possible, depending upon how long things take me, that uh, we may not do uh, anything else between you know now and the next horde except for work on that pace uh, so we can get it done. Um, so I will bring you back probably at the point where I'm ready to collapse all this, the rest of the you know remaining stone in the in the pit there and then we'll go from there. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.